Battlefield 2042 is featuring four specialists at launch in the game, and they look crazy cool. Let's check them out now in this episode of Battlefield News. What's up, guys? I'm excited to bring you consistent updates on Battlefield 2042. Make sure you're subbed and hit that bell so you get notified when we drop new intel on the game. EA DICE released info on all four out of 10 specialist operators. So that gives us a look at their abilities and equipment. 2042 features 10 specialists at launch. We have four so far and EA DICE plans to reveal the rest in the coming months. Battlefield Bulletin recently released images of the operators featuring their specialty, their trait, and their backstory. Let's take a look at Webster McKay. His place of birth is Canada. His class is Assault. His specialty is the Grappling Hook, and his trait is Nimble. He's an ex-military lone wolf survivalist. McKay is an ass kicker with a conscience, they say. This Canadian-born assault soldier fights to make right a regret from his military days. I wonder what that is. McKay is one of several specialists in the classic assault subclass, his main ability being the grappling hook that we saw in the gameplay footage. His increased mobility is definitely going to impact the gameplay in a very meaningful way. Webster's skin that we see in the screenshots of the game looks amazing. Uh, he's got a very serious face, short hair. He's got lots of visual military traits. McKay is shaping up to be one of the best and most universal subclasses in the entire game. Definitely one that you're going to want to use if you're clearing build buildings and need speed. His trait will afford you faster movement and ADS speeds. Next up is Wickus Casper Van Dale, place of birth, South Africa, class recon. Specialty is the OVP recon drone and his trait is the movement sensor. Casper is a recon soldier and a loner. He is known to be the calming presence on the task force. An introvert, Wickus does not make acquaintances easily, but his determination to fight for a better world is definitely rock solid. Casper is one of several specialists in the recon subclass, his main ability being the OVP recon drone. It's going to be a great addition to be able to control the battlefield more efficiently. Now, Casper's skin that we see in the screenshots of the game looks phenomenal. He's my favorite looking character so far. His camouflage is going to make sure that he fits in great in grassy areas and woods. It's got a lot of visual military traits, and I really cannot wait to use his character and see more of him and how you can customize different looks. Next up, we've got Pyotr Boris Guskovsky. Guskovsky? I'm not saying it right. Place of birth is Russia, class engineer. Specialty is the SG-36 sentry gun. His trait is the sentry operator. He's self-motivated and self-fulfilling. Boris seeks to acquire power and control a very chaotic world. This Russian-born engineer is very experienced weapons expert on the task force. Although his true attachment to the team is a bit suspect. There's more to that story, I'm sure. Boris is one of several specialists in the engineer subclass. His main ability is that sentry system, an automatized turret, which would be great to control objectives in various game modes and might be a game changer while defending a certain spot on the field. Let's next, take a look at Maria Falk, place of birth, Germany, class support. Her specialty is the S21 Surrette pistol. Did I say that right? And her trait is the combat surgeon. A veteran support, Maria Falk has a strong will that cannot be shaken by danger, fear, or rank. The skilled medic's primary motivation is to find her son David among the non-patriated groups spread across the world. Falk is one of several specialists in the support subclass. Her main ability is the Soret pistol, as well as the standard defibrillator that any support specialist will have at its disposal. Maria's skin that we see in the screenshots of the game looks pretty awesome. She's got a very serious face, short hair, definitely the same visual military traits. Now, in some games, the hitbox of female characters might be a bit different from the male characters, so we'll have to see how that impacts the gameplay uh, in Battlefield 2042. As we wait for the release of Battlefield 2042, I'll be streaming a lot of Battlefield 4 and 5 on my Twitch channel. You can catch me live Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so come say hi. I'm covering more content on YouTube as it's released about the game, so hit that bell to get notified. Live dangerously, my friends.